Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. I own Learberg. And I have a good question and answer today that came in to our Ask Cindy portal at the front on Learberg.com. And once again, I always say this, you don't need to be a customer of Learberg to send Cindy a question. Cindy's my wife. She knows a lot more about dog training than I do. And she answers these questions every single day. This one is about someone that has a 10 week old labradoodle and they want to know about when to introduce some of the behaviors like luring and whatever and i'll read the question and then we'll it's a good question because people that are new to dog training are always going to have the same kind of questions especially when they've done a little bit of research themselves and they start to understand what reward-based training is, what marker training is, and then they start to question what order to do it in. And I think we address that in this Q&A. This person says, my puppy is a 10 week old Labradoodle and is already engaging really well, even in new places and with small distractions. I plan to continue socializing him by going to new places and doing engagement, with progressively more and more distractions. You don't need to get in a hurry with your dog. This person's doing the absolute correct thing in working on engagement, doing the good, the correct thing on getting the dog out into minor distractions and focusing on engagement. It's the only thing they should be working on right now with a 10 week old dog. You've got the rest of this dog's life to get out there and do more complicated obedience exercises. And we're gonna lead into that, but you just need to wrap your mind around that because that's the way to think about this whole thing. Unfortunately, people that are new to training get in a hurry. They wanna get things done. They wanna get a trained dog. They want a dog that does what, the, what they want it to do. And they should have been spending more time on engagement. And we'll talk about it. Uh, He's an Australian Labradoodle and obviously doesn't focus an in, as intently uh, as the high drive Malinois that I've seen, but I imagine it's continually going to improve with practice. Maybe and maybe not. A lot's going to depend upon how she works with the dog. He works with the dog. I'm wondering when I should start luring and shaping behaviors like sit down, look, etc and in what order. What might the next two to five months look like, assuming I have great engagement uh, and it's always there in different places? If you think about this, the most important thing that you should be working on right now is engagement and relationship building. That needs to be the focus of taking a young dog and basically <laughs> doing that for months and months and months. If your dog will engage with you in different locations and you take it to a lot of different locations and you play engagement uh, games with the dog, you're going to have a dog that's going to build the kind of relationship that you want to have. But the key here is don't turn it into drills. Don't turn it into forced situations where the dog gets bored. Take the dog to new, new places, do different things with the dog in terms of engagement but don't push it on your dog. Have these sessions be very short. And if you have, and when I mean short, maybe only a minute. You're out with walking with your dog on a nice walk and you wanna do a little engagement. So you do a little bit of engagement. You can do luring. You can lure your dog into a sit. It all depends upon what you want to do with your dog. And if you're working on it in a motivational way with markers, you should be learning markers. If you're working on engagement, you should know what markers are and you're out, spend a minute here, then go on down the road. Don't let the dog start to anticipate that he's going out for a training session and then you push it and do too long of a training session and then you lose your dog. When you do that, the dog's not going to look forward to obedience training with you. Basically, keep it in mind, you're working on engagement. You're not working on training. We don't want the dog to think we're taking him out to train him. No, we want the dog to think we're going to go out and play with, a, with, my, with my master and we're going to have a good time today. And if you approach dog training like that, you can lure sits, you can lure do downs, you can keep your dog on leash. You can do some of the work 
that I show on the recall with a young puppy like this where it's all food motivated, online food motivated. There's a lot of things you can do with your dog, but in the end it all comes down with working with the dog that's sitting in front of you. We can't tell you do this and then this and then this and this. Always, we always get people saying, can you give me a timeline on how I should run my program? This is not an eight week training program. This is, we're gonna work with the dog and we're gonna do and help the dog with what he shows us. Some dogs are gonna have more problems in certain part of training, in which case we have to back up and play with them a little bit more. So that's the way to look at this whole thing. We have very good training courses. Go on there, we have courses on engagement, we have courses on the recall, I have the courses on your puppy eight weeks to eight months. Uh, there's a lot of material there. I give these people credit for writing in and asking these questions. The Q&A is on our website and there's, I don't know, almost 4,000 that we've listed and that's not all of them because we get a lot of them every single day. And Cindy, that's what she does in the morning. She gets up before me and she gets down and she gets on her computer and she reads her Q&As and tickets on Q&As and she answers them every day. I don't think there's another website on the internet that does this and especially when you have the opportunity to ask somebody that has the kind of experience that Cindy has in training dogs, both from a pet dog level and from a national competition level in IGP or Schutzen or Ring Sport.